Hi, I'm Alice and this is my story. Throughout my childhood, from quite a young age, I'd suffered with depression and anxiety. And 18 years ago, I was diagnosed with anorexia. I've struggled with the illness on and off ever since. I've had several admissions to hospital, often quite far away from home and sometimes for several months at a time. But none of the treatments seemed to work and after a while I just began to believe that I'd never make a full recovery. In July 2017, I was told that I should be admitted to hospital again. But I was really reluctant because I'd already spent four months in hospital over that winter. I didn't want to go through any more treatment because it just never seemed to help. And also, I was planning to go to New Wine the following week with my church, All Saints Worcester. I've always felt really at home there, but I found it difficult to talk about any of the difficulties that I'd had or ask for prayer or support. I arrived at New Wine feeling quite hopeless and defeated. I struggled with the week of camping. I was physically quite weak and tired and I found it difficult to join in with all the social activities. Many of them were centred around shared meal times. As the week went on, I began to enjoy the sense of community and I was inspired and encouraged by a lot of the seminars and talks that I went to. On my last day at New Wine, I went to the evening gathering in the Hungry venue and I heard some people telling their really powerful testimonies of healing. As I listened, I suddenly felt a completely overwhelming sense of God's presence in the room. And I heard his voice telling me that now was going to be the time for me to recover and that he was going to give me the strength to do it. Not next week or next year or after another hospital admission, but right now. Feeling completely overwhelmed by God's love and grace, I stood up, went over to the cafe and bought a piece of cake and sat there eating it during the gathering. For most people, that would be a completely normal and unremarkable thing to do. But for me, it was a moment of complete breakthrough. At the end of the gathering, I went up to the front to receive prayer. I knelt down and as I was praying, I pictured myself removing the eating disorder, kneeling it to the cross and leaving it behind. I was able to walk away and leave it behind, feeling ecstatic and more free than I'd ever done before. For several years, my husband and I have been longing to start a family. I've always loved children and I was desperate to have a baby of my own. But I've been really devastated by my latest set of scans and hormone tests, which showed that my body had been too damaged by the illness to have children. Just seven weeks after that day at New Wine, a friend offered to pray for me. I was a bit reluctant, thinking that I'd only be disappointed when our prayers weren't answered but she was full of faith and insisted. She laid her hands on me and commanded my body to be completely healed in Jesus' name. I went home and thought nothing more of it until a few weeks later when I began to feel a bit unwell. When the feeling didn't subside, I found out in complete shock and amazement that our baby had been conceived. I was ecstatic, but also a bit scared because I still wasn't completely physically well and I was worried that my body wouldn't be able to cope with the pregnancy. My church family were a massive support. People often offered to pray for us and even helped out with planning meals, which is something I'd really struggled with. I gave birth to a healthy baby boy in June and we named him Toby, which means God is good. I still have difficulties sometimes with my mental and physical health and I find that I have to make a choice almost daily to continue with my recovery. But I found it helpful to keep Romans 12 2 in mind which says, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing and perfect will. I truly feel that through faith and prayer and with a lot of support from my amazing church family, that my mind has been renewed over the last year and that God's will and plan for my life is beginning to reveal itself.